Snash Drunk. Hello, and welcome to the Let's Play of Star Trek IV for Super Nintendo. That, that was the Star Trek movie with the whales, right? Actually, it's Secret of Mana. I just wanted to make a whale joke. Yeah, this game is probably the best intro music, the best uh, title screen, really, of any Super Nintendo game. If I had to pick one. It's kind of a... I, I don't even know what I would list for that. Yeah, we get the slow reveal here. Panning up. And darkness sweeps the troubled land as Mana's power fades. So anyway, this game... Um, my brother bought this game, I think, like the same week it came out. My older brother and uh, paid like 60 bucks for it and um, he would not let me play it. My brother was very possessive of his stuff. Well, I mean, I was five years younger than he was, so I uh, was, I am five years younger than he um, And he uh, would not let me touch his freaking, w wouldn't even let me play. So of course, when he'd leave someplace and I was home, I'd take every opportunity I could to play this game. And uh, I never got very far when I was a kid, but I have finished it a few times since then. Really badass look. I mean, that's just great looking. The tree with the those flamingos flying by. Can flamingos fly? I'm pretty sure they can. Anyway, um, to prove my uh, what I'm saying, yeah, there's my brother's old save states. He never got very far in this game. That's what drove me nuts is that he would only play when he um, had a friend over and he played multiplayer. Um, and he refused to play with me, of course, because that wouldn't be cool. My game save is at the bottom, or my most recent one. Um, but we're going to start a new game here. And, uh, yeah, I think there's only four uh, things, four spaces for a name. Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. It's there's five. Anytime there's only four spots, I go with Druge because it looks like dr I'm trying to spell drunk, but I can't because I'm drunk. I guess I'm not drunk yet. I probably will be. I don't know how long I'm gonna play this game for. I just wanted to play this game because um, the Racket Boy forums have something called uh, Together RPG, and every two months they pick a different uh, old uh, RPG to for everybody to kind of play along and uh, post their thoughts of the game as they play in the thread. And I thought it'd be fun. This is one of my favorite games ever. So it, it is very flawed, but it is still one of my favorite games ever. Um, so I, I, I couldn't resist. I, I just finished up Mega Man X2. I wanted to... I, I guess I'll go back to Robotrack eventually, but this game is just too good to pass up. Time flows like a river, and history repeats. I'm pretty sure everybody, everybody that comes to that part has to read that part out loud and read it in like a dramatic like movie trailer voiceover voice i think that's a rule i think that's they just pass that law it's, it's a federal law in every country all over the world <laughs> ah! oh timothy <laughs> elliot and timothy how did they come up with those names <laughs> Oh, Grandma. <laughs> grandma and her bullshit stories again. God, what a weenie. I love this. They, like, look at each other and <laughs> run away. <laughs> like, oh, shit, let's get out of here. All right. So I fall harmlessly into this pond down these waterfalls, and uh, let's look for stuff. Where do I go? going on here walk with purpose so yeah I, I always thought I remember when I first played Chrono Trigger I was like that's just the secret of mana guy hey wait a minute yeah secret of mana guy was Chrono before Chrono was Chrono in terms of design Chrono's a much cooler character hmm 
Hey, a handy dandy sword in a stone. What are the odds? What's that bear doing here? Eh, he's walking around. Sorry, there's lots of inane references I make. That's a very obscure space ghost, coast to coast reference. And speaking of ghosts, that's not space ghost. That's some guy who asked the sword. <laughs> yeah, my my thoughts exactly, huh? You mean this sword? No, the one behind you. And he dies. Oh. That wasn't an instant. That was a moment. I take issue with the phraseology there, the terms, whatever. Anyway, and here we go with the my f favorite part of the game. Some thwacking these freaking rabbites with an old rusty sword as this music plays. I could do this for hours, and I have. When I first uh, um, played this game as a kid, yeah, you gotta cut the grass too, obviously. <laughs> when I first played this as a kid, I would just level, I would grind by killing these things for hours, and I'd cut all the grass, I'd cut all the bushes. It took me, and, and yeah, you can also, you know, there's, there's the 100 percent gauge thing at the bottom there obviously you're supposed to wait until it fills up to hit the thing to hit uh, an enemy but you can spam attack them and do like two damage at a time uh, out of desperation really if you're uh, trying to get past an area and you're surrounded it's one strategy to implement the thing this game gets right is the sound design like from the music to like the sound of killing an enemy to the sound of the sword swinging to the sound of the sword cutting grass and like that little like whoop sound like the presentation here and just the colors and just every little thing this game gets totally right and um yeah I'd get to like weapon skill level 4 <laughs> Just hanging out here for hours and hours. Um, let me uh, get this treasure here. And I love the little animation he does. And he like, you can't just open a treasure. You have to like throw it on the ground and bust it open. That's just great. I love it. And you hear something rattling in it when you when you're shaking it around. There's another one. Oh, forest off limits. I guess I should have stayed out of there. I just love the sound here. <laughs> Candy. All right. Um, but we'll get to the flaws this game has eventually. I don't think I'm going to play this for very long for Let's Play purposes. Just because it's kind of... Uh, yeah, see, you can just spam the hell out of these things. And you'll eventually rack up zeros for damage hits. For damage points. Hey, I leveled up already. Um, let's cut the grass. I have to cut the... When I see the grass, it needs to be cut. And not just some of it. It needs to be all of it. And then you frolic. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, the flaws in this game are uh, are numerous, I'm sad to say. It's not to say I don't like... It doesn't ruin the game for me or for many people. It's just... Some people get upset when you, po when you point out stuff that's like... Not 100%. You know, it's like... Every ga no game is perfect. But I get, like, people hating on me for saying... I guess I was kind of harsh in my review of this game. Um, I didn't mean to come across that way because uh, I really do like it a lot. Uh-oh. People looking for me. That's not good. Let's hide. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um... Out of the way. I guess I was a little hard on this game when I was uh, in my uh, video for it. Didn't mean to come across that way. I just wanted to point out that um, this game really has not aged that all that gracefully. 
like pausing the game, like the, the magic system is so easy to abuse, and, and like some of the damage cycle traps in this game are ab absurdly unfair, um, and we'll get to that. Um, yeah, and just the ring system, just pausing the game. What the hell? Oh, I got stuck behind the tree. Oh, I already talked to you. Um, yeah, the, the ring system, the fact that you pause the game to, to access uh, items and all that and magic, and you can really abuse the hell out of being able to pause when you access magic. Yeah, that guy looks familiar. Hmm. But somebody on a, a comment on a video, somebody left a comment on a video I made. I forget which one and I forget. I think it was the any the SNES sequels video. Um, the modern modern sequels. If somebody were to make a modern remake of Secret of Mana, it would be the perfect game to remake on the 3DS because then you could just move the ring system to the bottom screen. That would be perfect. That would work so well. I wish I remembered who the username of whoever... Uh, made that comment, but wh whoever you are, you're a genius. That's a great idea, and I hope it happens someday. Oh, anyway, yeah, pull the sword out. The sword was somehow protecting the village from monsters. Now that the sword's out, it's not protecting. Now I'm getting my ass kicked by a fat kid. <laughs> it's your fault. You did it. <laughs> you! <laughs> Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.